Cleveland, Ohio Safe Passage, it has been reported that over 50 children have come up missing, school children. So Safe Passage, what we do is monitor early arrivals and as well as dismissals. It is extremely important to tell your children to be aware of their surroundings at all times and walk in groups. Keep your hoodies off. Keep your earbuds out your ears so that way you can hear sound and you can see your visuals. Once again, we strongly urge for you to walk in groups. Thank you, safe passage. You have probably seen them. Headlines this week about a high number of youngsters reported missing in Cleveland and across the state. Tonight, police are speaking out about what they are calling sensationalism by the media. Three News investigative correspondent Lena Lai digs into the facts. The headlines are attention grabbing. There is something dark and dangerous happening in Cleveland, Ohio. And the news has gone global. What is going on in Cleveland? A thousand children missing, vanished in Cleveland. A thousand missing in Ohio. Is it Cleveland or the state of Ohio? And are the headlines misleading? Is there truth to these attention grabbing headlines? But I think it's more we're being a little bit more sensationalized than what is needed. Newburgh Heights Police Chief John Majoy, who heads up the Cleveland Missing Task Force, calls the headlines misleading and potentially causing undue panic. You have to understand that, uh, you know, of a population of about 325,000 people, if you compare Cleveland to other cities, the, the numbers are not skewed from those cities. In fact, Majoy doesn't even know the source behind some news articles. Many cite the Ohio Attorney General's Missing Children's website, which lists Ohio children currently reported missing. The list fluctuates hour by hour as police input information. This afternoon, we found 909 children currently reported missing, including children reported missing in years past, like one, missing since 1928. We take every single one of them uh, seriously. It's the second time this year that authorities have tried to inject context into headlines. In June, Cleveland Police Chief Wayne Drummond spoke out, citing a 20 percent increase in the number of missing children being reported. However, out of 1,072 missing children, 1,020 were safely returned. The vast majority uh, that we encounter here in the city of Cleveland are runaways, and, and a large percentage of those numbers are habitual runaways. Still, make no mistake, according to the Attorney General's database, 51 children are currently reported missing in Northeast Ohio alone. Children like Kishan Williams, missing from Slavic Village since June in what's believed to be the area's longest Amber Alert. Meanwhile, flaws in the state's reporting of missing children can lead to misinformation as well. Every Friday, there's going to be 52 reports of a missing child, but it's only one. And what he says is, but that would only be one, because let's explain it further. Oftentimes, one runaway may be reported multiple times by multiple agencies, and then data can be skewed. Attorney General Dave Dios' office tonight saying that they are trying to clean up the data to try to make it more, uh, more concise, but they are also saying tonight in a, in a statement saying he's adding further context that 90 percent of missing kids are recovered, adding, quote, one kid missing is one too many. Russ. Of course, and you're right. That story is everywhere, but mm -hmm. thank you so much for that.